Good Delta Alpha Yen. In short, good day. This is Menard F. Miguel from Cabanatuan City Senior High School, and I am your teacher presenter for Teleproan. In the previous lesson, you've learned about how organisms change over time. Today, I will guide you about the classification of organisms based on evolutionary relationships. For us to understand more our lesson, let me first give you the objective of this discussion. And so at the end of the lesson, you are expected to describe how the present system of classification of organisms is based on evolutionary relationships. The diversity of living organisms on Earth is truly astounding, almost overwhelming. Humans have come up with ways of organizing or classifying biological diversity throughout human history. Organisms can be classified according to any number of criteria, including overall similarities, colors, ecological functions, and so on. However, it is generally agreed that the most useful way for scientists to organize biological diversity is to group organisms according to shared evolutionary history. This way, the grouping not only results in an organized classification, it also contains and conveys information about our understanding of the evolutionary history of these groups. In scientific terms, the evolutionary history and relationship of an organism or group of organisms are called phylogeny. Phylogeny describes the relationships of an organism such as from which species it is most closely related and which organisms it is thought to be habitable. It also provides information on shared ancestry but not necessarily on how organisms are similar or different. Therefore, phylogeny is a study of determining evolutionary relationships or patterns of the descent of an organism. Through evolution, or simply change over time, all of the species of organisms that are alive today have descended from ancestral species. The evolutionary relationships of ancestral species and their descendants can be diagrammed using branching evolutionary trees. An evolutionary tree indicates which ancestors gave rise to which descendants, just like making a family tree. Traditionally, biological classification schemes included the idea of ranks, such as species, genus, family, order, class, and so on. In this system, or the Linnaean system, for example, there is a class reptilia and a class atlas. However, the bulk of evidence supports, and the majority of scientists now agree, that the group Aves belongs within the larger group Reptilia, or the birds, share a most recent common ancestor with crocodiles, which are generally included in the class group. Within a traditional Linnaean system of classification, this means that either the class Aves is demoted to something below a class, or that a class Aves exists within another class Reptilia. Problems such as this have prompted many scientists to propose that a system of naming and classification of biological diversity be ranked free. Classification systems then only indicate the hierarchical structure of groups according to the current understanding of their evolutionary history, leaving out rank labels. Modern classification is based on evolutionary relationships called systematic or cladistics. Cladistics is a classification based on common ancestry. Phylogeny is the evolutionary history for a group of species, evidence from species, the fossil record, and molecular data shown with branching tree diagram. But what is a cladogram? A cladogram is a diagram that describes evolutionary relationships among groups. It is based on phylogeny, which is the study of evolutionary relationships. 
Sometimes, a phylogenic tree is also called cladogram, though there are minor differences between the two. Biologists would group organisms based on their physical appearance. This strategy is called evolutionary classification cladistics through the advances in genetics and biochemistry. This form of analysis, which newer features that serve some kind of purpose in features organisms that are considered innovation. This illustration is an example of cladogram. It describes evolutionary relationship among group of species. You have to take note that the important factor that the organisms in the clade are monophyletic group stem from a single point on the tree is through varying the size of a clade depending on which branch point is being referenced. The term monophyletic breaks into mono, meaning one, and phyletic meaning evolutionary relationship. Remember, it is necessary to classify organisms because it helps in the identification of living organisms as well as in understanding the diversity of living organisms. Classification helps us to learn about different kinds of plants and animals, their features, similarities, and differences. With that, thank you so much. Again, this is Menard F. Miguel from Cabanatuan City Senior High School. Goodbye, God bless, and good day.